I'm terminating 900 micron fiber with some anaerobic connectors. This happen to be 62.5 SC types. I have a couple of tools here, and of course for safety as always, I have my safety glasses. You also want to make sure that you have adequate ventilation, and if you're installing vast quantities of this connectors, you might want to wear rubber gloves because the chemicals that we're using here, the adhesive and the primer, might cause mild skin irritation. All I need is the boot that goes with the 900 micron jacketing, um, the connector body itself, the shroud, and the dust cover. After the boot is installed, clean the tip of the connector, and then prepare the adhesive. If you have a new bottle, snip off the top, and then install a syringe tip, and make sure it's firmly seated. We're going to start by injecting the adhesive inside the connector body and look for a bead to form on the bottom of the connector indicating that the adhesive is all the way through the ferrule. Next we want to prepare the fiber. There is a strip gauge that you can use to make sure that you're only stripping about uh, 15 millimeters or, or about three quarters of an inch of fiber. And make sure that the 250 micron is taken off. And then clear the fiber. And then you can either use a brush to apply the primer, or you can dip the whole thing inside the primer. Insert the fiber into the bottom of the connector with a twisting motion, making sure that the fiber bottoms out against the ferrule inside. It will take about a minute to cure. In the meantime, we will clean the pads that we'll be using, using some alcohol, and that set the polishing film on it. Now, we'll be using four types of polishing film. We'll use the yellow, the gray, white, and the clear. And the way to make sure that you have the right side up is the glossy side is to the bottom of the pad. After one minute, the connector has cured and the fiber won't move out. And install it in place. Obtain a ruby scribe and we're going to score the fiber about one or two fiber diameters from the ferrule. And then you can use your hands or a pair of tweezers to lift off the fiber. Using an inverted U on the yellow polishing film, we want to polish off the nub of the fiber. That is a sharp edge of the fiber, and you can kind of hear it there. Once the connector stops scratching the paper, you know it's flush with the epoxy bead. So we're going to start the polishing by dropping off about a, qu um, a quarter size bit of water on each of the polishing films and also cleaning our polishing pot. You can also use lint-free wipes with alcohol just to make sure that everything is clean. So we're going to make two initial figure eights with very light pressure, one, two. The intent of this step is to make the fiber nub flush with the epoxy bead you can make additional figure eights with medium pressure to make sure that most of the epoxy is gone. Check it after each figure eight. Make 10 to 12 figure eights on the white paper using enough pressure only to keep the connector steady. The bead should be almost gone, and if that's not the case, do it again once the bead is completely gone, you're ready for final polish. Transfer one of the pucks after cleaning it. We're going to make 10 to 15 figure eights on the clear polishing paper with just enough pressure to keep the connector steady. Clean the connector and inspect the connector using a scope. What you're looking for is a mirror-like finish, although a few pits and scratches are allowable. Practice 
until you get it perfect, and then you'll be ready to go on the job. If you got any other questions, please give us a call or send us an email at cablesystems at coning.com. And remember, Coning Cable Systems recommends getting trained in fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes, of course, and we thank you.